Backstage is a man named Jim. Also backstage is another man named Donald. Everybody welcome Rachel to the show. So Rachel, Rachel is hoping that a paternity test proves that one of these two men is her biological father. You see, for the first half of her life, Rachel only knew Jim as her dad. But then she began hearing rumors that a man named Donald was actually her father. A rumor that was confirmed later on by a family member. Now, since then, Rachel and Jim have been struggling with the possibility that they are not father and daughter. So you think a lot of your life apparently has been a lie. Well, I was about 15 years old, and my mom basically told me the exact words was, mommy's baby, daddy's maybe. And, um... Because up until then, Jim had been the father in your life. Yes, yes. In fact, he... as I remember, you, you went to live with him. I'd lived with him for most of my life, yes. Ooh. And, um... When my mom came to me and told me about that information, I held on to it for about a year before I came to my father and told him because I knew it was going to break his heart. I see. Aww. And did it? It did. He, it, it kind of um, separated our bond a little bit because we were really close. And, um, I mean, we still are. It's still my dad. I love him. But <laughs> I feel like it separated us a little bit. That was at 15, right? At 15. Then... Then it was kind of like dormant for a while. Yeah, it was just left alone. No, nobody, you know, my mom left it alone. My dad just, you know, he believes that I'm his, I'm his daughter, no matter what. And then what happened? <laughs> and then what happened when you were 26? Family member, I was speaking about the situation, and the family member said that she knew exactly where Donald was. And I had, I've been searching for him since I was 15. And you finally found him? I found him. And you met him? I met him. And uh, he wanted a bond. He wanted, he said right away that, you know, he felt like I looked identical to his other two daughters. Ooh. So I saw, I saw a picture of his two girls. And that's when I started questioning. What did Jim think when you ended up meeting Donald? Now, now there's a real problem, right? He was very upset. Like I said, he believes I'm his daughter, no matter what. No matter what the result of this show, he's, that's always my dad. Right. <laughs> But, but there are there are other you have other members of your family, right? It's just not you, right? right you right. have sisters. I do. In fact, one of your sisters is here today. Yep. Her name is Ashley. You believe, you believe that Jim is her father. Full-heartedly. Full-heartedly. And actually I'm I'm hurt. I'm angry with my sister because... You're angry at her? Yes. Why? How can you be angry with me, though? How can I be angry with you? You've known this how long, and you're choosing 15 years later to do this? I was 15. Oh. 15 years later, you had a 15-year span to do that. Exactly. And look what and you're I, doing to they our were father. The adult in look the what you're doing to I was our the dad. child. And look what it's doing to me. Ain't nobody thought about what's going on with me. You firmly believe that your father is her father. Firmly. We look at we're Weaver sisters. We look identical. I'm two years younger than her, and we almost look identical. We have the same mother. Of course, we look identical. Okay, and that has, identical comes with father and mother. Ashley, has your father talked to you about this? Yes, he is heartbroken. What about me? Is anybody taking into consideration? You, what I you had plenty of opportunity to do this. I gave them plenty of opportunity to go and get this done. Nobody had the income to do it, so here we are. Well, take a look here. What do you think, Rachel? I don't, I don't know. I don't see any similarities with either of them. We're gonna meet both these gentlemen, right? And first, we're going to meet your dad, okay? Here's Jim, everybody. <laughs> you are my daughter, not his. You're mine. Good to see you, Jim. Nice to see you. Glad to hear you. Nice to see you. Your daughter? <laughs> Do you have any idea that you'd end up here you know, all these not, years later? Always. It's where I'd never be on one of these shows. <laughs> I can understand. You raised this young lady. Yes, I did from, from day one. I mean, from my daughter. What was it like when all of a sudden Rachel comes to you, Jim, and says, 
Dad, I, I think that this other fellow might be my father. I was, I said, no way. He's not. There's no way he is. But for like a year, you didn't speak to me. Because I, I, because she questioned, she questioned whether I was her father, and I was like, I've been here your whole life. Yeah. It was like. But it, that's I mean, the thing, I, though. I, it's not. I can't believe one of my children would say to me, you know, after all these years, that you know, maybe somebody else is my father. Yeah. How did you know she wanted a paternity test? I saw a little something on uh, Facebook, and so I called her. I was like, what's this about you're looking for uh, Chris Donald guy? I was like, I'm your dad. What? But there, nobody's taking into consideration. I, I understand that he, he raised me, and this is my father, and that's my sister, but there is a possibility that I have other siblings. I have other family out there. And for me to just ignore that, I, I can't do that. Jim, you think you all look alike? I think so. You think she's abandoning your family? To me, she is. She's abandoning? Abandoning us because, you know, you didn't talk to dad, you didn't talk to us. But there's a possibility that these other girls are my sisters, just like okay, you. Okay, there's a possibility. So why wouldn't you figure it out and then try to build a, a relationship, them a with, relationship them with them instead of having... Put yourself in my shoes. Have you ever met him, Jim? No, I have not. Never met him. Oh. Everybody, here's Donald. Nice to meet you, Donald. Okay. Donald, this is Jim. Jim, this is Donald. Meanwhile, you're frustrated, aren't yeah. you? Why? I couldn't find a note she was mine. You know, I had a kid out there. I could have been a father to her. I never got a chance to be a father to her. Now, I'm being looked at like I'm the bad guy because it's taken this long. In all reality, you should have stepped up and been like, okay, let me go get this DNA test done. <laughs> This was just six years ago, right? You yeah. didn't know anything about it. By the way, did you know her mother? I met her mother one time, and you know, we uh, went out one day, and that was it. It was a one-night thing. You didn't know about this other fella? As far as I knew, she didn't have no fella. Oh. <laughs> what happens if I open up this envelope and, and prove to you that you're, you're her father? What's going to happen? I guess I'll be a father and thankful to him for doing such a good job. You think, Donald, do you, do you think Rachel looks like you? Not really. Have you spent much time with her? She asked me to take her a couple places a couple times, but that's about it. Like I said, I came to him about the situation, and it, it was just, well, you look like my daughter, so you're my daughter. And that's not enough for me. Well, guess what? I have the, I have the answer. In the case of 31-year-old Rachel, Donald, you are not the father. And in the case of 31-year-old Rachel, Jim, you are the father. <laughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate it. OK? Everybody okay? Thank you. That's it, right? <laughs> yep, thank All right. you. I'm so sorry, Ben. <laughs> Thanks for watching this dramatic DNA reveal. If you want to see more paternity stories, click here. And be sure to subscribe to be the first to know about all new DNA drama.